Hi everyone! So first of all, I would like to thank all of those who have already watched our first video which was about how to use the basic calculator in computing for the present value factor and future value factor. And for those na hindi pa nakaka-watch, so I, the, the link is above. So feel free to click and watch. So don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> to like, and then to comment and give us suggestions. And please share because there are still a lot of students, future CPAs, and perhaps colleagues that are also not yet familiar and used to computing for the PV factor and future value factor using the basic calculator. So for today, I am going to show you how to use the basic calculator specifically the MU button this one so this is actually inspired with the suggestion of one of my friends who asked me how to use the markup button or the MU button so here it goes so what does MU button means that means <laughs> that means mark up. Okay, so that means mark up. So when can we use this? We can use this in computing for the sales. And then the given item or given yeah, item is cost of sales and the gross profit rate. So how do we compute or how do we use this? Ayan, so the ba we have two types of gross profit rate that is based on sales and based on cost. So, dalawa din yung panggagamitan natin. So, therefore, magbabago yung um, computation if it's based on sales or based on cost. So, how do we do it? Okay, so let's start by calculating the sales. If the cost of sales is 560 and the gross profit rate based on sales is 30%. So how do we do that? So let's input first the cost of sales. So that's 560. And then we use the divide sign. So please take note divide sign yung gagamitin if the gross profit is based on sales. So divide sign and then the gross profit rate which is 30 and then no percentage anymore just 30 and then we press mu or markup yeah so yung lalabas that's 800 which is our sales okay next off is to compute for the sales if the given is a cost of sales amount and the gross profit is based on cost so for example your cost of sales is 900 and your gross profit rate is 30 percent based on cost so let's input the cost of sales 900 and then this time because the gross profit rate is based on cost we use the multiply sign so make sure multiply sign ang magagamit basta based on cost yung given the gross profit rate Look, multiply and then the gross profit rate which is 30 and then we press MU so yung lalabas yung lumabas is 1170 that is our sales so there you have it how to use the markup button so thank you for watching and please don't forget to share knowledge and enjoy learning bye